Greetings unsettled souls and welcome to part five of five. That means this is the last part. I did that math all by myself. The last part of the Mass of Fukushima update. It's the correct views. Dumdy of the day. Oh wait, wait, I, I did not give you the dumdy music. I, the, the you are an idiot music, so well, it's gonna come in way too loud if I do it now. But should I do it? Of course I should. Okay, so while the dumdy music is loading. You know, people would say, who could have ever predicted that Iran would lie about their nuclear... There we go, there's your music. Who would have ever predicted... Who would have ever predicted that Iran would have lied? Well, I don't know. Just this show, Ted Cruz, Rand Paul... Donald Trump, just about every nuclear expert in the world, everyone except the idiot left, we need to leave Iran alone, they're going to be honest, they're going to be honest my ass, honest about what, honest about what, there are people, usually Democrats, but there are others. There are rhinos and uh, would-be libertarians, of which, even though I'm a libertarian, I utterly disassociate myself with, who said, and I'm paraphrasing, who have been telling us all along, Iran will be honest about enriching uranium. They're not looking to make nuclear weapons. They just want to be green and stop the global warming Easter Bunny. Okay. They're not going to lie. No, no, they're not going to lie. They, we, we're going to let the inspectors come in, and we'll be able to show everybody that we are not building nuclear bombs because that's what Iran would never do. Remember? Well, let's see if the left was right. Here's a hint. They weren't. Take a good look there. This is from Bloomberg, hardly a, uh, a right-leaning outlet. Even they're admitting now that they, they, they were wrong. Now, they're not admitting they're wrong. They're just dropping this article, which goes against everything that they said would happen without saying that. Oh, well, yeah, well, who would have ever guessed? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Iranian nuclear work is becoming a mystery to global monitors. Well, imagine that. I'd love to ask Bloomberg here exactly why they didn't think this would happen. Because it's not addressed in the article, I can guarantee that. They're going to be quite mum on this fact. International nuclear inspectors say they're on the brink of losing irrecoverable knowledge about some of Iran's atomic activities. You know, the ones that they weren't going to lie about signaling a mounting sense of urgency ahead of next week's talk between the Islamic Republic and world powers. Wait a minute. Urgency? Urgency because the information we need to prove that they weren't lying could be purposefully lost? That's what liars do, but that, that, that couldn't be what Iran was doing. Joe Biden said that that wouldn't be. He told Donald Trump he was wrong, remember? Well, look at this. International Atomic Energy Agency Director General Rafael Grossi. Now, didn't, didn't Grossi attack Trump on this? Yeah, he, let me help you. Yeah, yeah, Grossi did. Now, Grossi has issued the warning on Wednesday following a trip to Tehran that failed to ease concern over the lack of monitoring at a centrifuge workshop outside of Iran's capital. Wow. Just like Donald Trump said, imagine that. While the IAEA inspectors continue to collect fine-grained data about the quality and purity levels of Iran's nuclear fuel stockpile, the more pure, uh, the closer they are to nuclear weaponry, they've said it's been, they, they, yeah, take two, They've been unable, it says, to mount surveillance gear at the factory and garage, which makes components for the fast-spinning machines that separate uranium isotopes. You mean like they do in nuclear weaponry, which Iran would never, ever try to sneak. No, never. 
we are close to the point where I would not be able to guarantee continuity of knowledge, Grassi said at a briefing with the press in Vienna. You mean you're in the situation that Donald Trump said that you'd be in? <clears throat> He said this where the IAEA's Board of Governors has convened to discuss Iran's nuclear activities. Quote, we have to solve this issue very quickly. Why? Were you wrong? Wait, were you wrong about Iran, Mr. Fossi Grassi? Iran's top diplomat, Hussein Abridullahain, I'm sure that was correctly said, struck a more positive note, saying that Tehran had reached an agreement in principle with the UN watchdog. Oh, and they've got great principles, too, so you're good to go. Uh, on technical issues related to nuclear inspections and uh, that the parties would meet soon to finalize the agreement. Oh, I'm, I, their agreement's going to be great. I'm, I'm excited. Western diplomats have warned for months that Iran's lack of cooperation with inspectors could result in a resolution of censure. You mean just like Donald Trump said, they're going to censure them. You know what that means? We don't approve. We're going to put this on your permanent record. That's what that means. That's all that's going to happen. That's all that censure means. It's a move that has the potential to send the country's nuclear case back to the UN Security Council. And I'm sure Iran is going to listen to the UN Security Council. And they're not going to stall so long at the UN Security Council that Iran has time to enrich the uranium while they're stalling, in which case Iran will have the bomb by the time anything that the UN wants to do to Iran for almost having the bomb takes effect. Play that again, because it was absolutely word for word the way I meant it, because it was right. Go ahead, play it again. You'll be like, yeah, that is what they're going to do. Iran says that such a measure would reduce the already dwindling possibility of reviving its landmark nuclear accord known as G J JACPOA, JCPOA, struck in 2015 with China, France, Germany, Russia, the UK, and the US. Of course, the one which Donald Trump said was already going to lead to the same kind of lying which we are seeing here. You can go through the rest of this and take a good look. It goes into great detail about how and why we're going to uh, lose this window of opportunity to keep a track on the ever honest and truthful and forthright Iranians. Just like we predicted on this show. You guys know it. The, the, proof, the proof is in the old shows. We said that this was going to happen. We told you this was going to happen. Way back to when this show was blessed with Christelle being on it, we told you this was going to happen and you didn't listen. And now here it is. Dumb deal of the day, friends. Thank you for listening. Please hit share, hit subscribe, leave comments, all of that. And uh, again, remember I said this in part one, and I'm going to close with it. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award for November and December will be done in December because um, there was computer issues, technical issues. I had to have the computer fixed, and it was gone for a week. That put Fukushima off, and the dunce cap is so far behind now that we will just do it next month. Sorry, that's the way it's got to go. But there will be a dunce cap for November and December, given in December. It's just, you're not going to get a lot of the filler stories in between. But there will be three of the lead-up stories leading to the winner, which will be the fourth show being November's, and the fifth show being December's dunce, dunce cap. And you guys can vote for the dunce cap of the year. And as always, I will be picking one random name. And if you guys vote, and I will give somebody some kind of a reward for picking the dunce cap of the year. Good night, friends. God bless. And thank you for listening.